Somalia, efforts to revive key landmarks and monuments are underway as part of a government-led effort to restore the country's rich history. CT10's Abdulaziz Billow has this report now from Mogadishu. The statue of Sayyid Mohammed Abdullah Hassan is once again visible in Mogadishu. It's been restored in its former position overlooking the country's parliament and presidential palace. Sayyid was a freedom fighter who led a major revolution movement that fought against British and Italian colonialists in a conflict that lasted more than two decades. The statue of a female freedom fighter was also restored in central Mogadishu. Hawataka was killed in a massive demonstration that opposed Italian colonization of Somalia and advocated for the freedom of Somalia. She never lived to witness her liberation struggle come to life. Twelve years after her death, Somalia gained its independence from both British and Italian colonialists. Every country has its own unique symbol, history and heroes. We have plenty of heroes in this country and that's why we're reviving the legacy of our heroes and everyone else who made positive contributions to this nation. We are here to honor the struggle they put in to the realization of an independent Somalia. A monument to honor the first modern Somali political party, the Somali Youth League was also revived in one of Mogadishu's neighborhoods. Locals have welcomed the government's efforts to revive historic monuments and key landmarks. I welcome the restoration of historical monuments. It's part of our history and must be preserved. Tourists can also come and learn our history from visiting monuments. I never had the opportunity to see the previous monuments. Young people of my age living in Mogadishu now have the chance to see the revival of Somali's history. This monument behind me was last seen in Mogadishu almost three decades ago after a deadly civil war destroyed much of the country that also saw the destruction of key landmarks and historic monuments. The government says that the revival of these monuments now is a symbol that the country is ready to revive its rich culture heritage. The destruction of historic monuments has left a huge gap in Somalia's rich history that the government hopes to rewrite under a program known as Ishel Khan, voluntary work to renovate and rebuild cultural landmarks destroyed by years of conflict. The National Theatre, the Museum and the Public Library have also been revived under the same program and are due to be unveiled in the coming months, the latest in a sign of a changing city. Abdul Aziz Bilal, CGTN, Mogadishu, Somalia.